On Trading Nation today, let's take a look at a group of stocks that are trading at discounts to the average price target of Wall Street analysts. They are Advanced Micro Devices, Western Digital Applied Materials, and Micron. See a trend there? Semiconductor stocks. That is their price below the average analyst price target. Are any of these names worth your money at these levels? Mark Tepper, Strategic Wealth Partners, Todd Gordon, TradingAnalysis.com. Todd, any of these names stick out to you? Sure, Brian. Yeah, the, uh, the first one we'll start with is Micron. Micron is showing a relatively sharp pullback, but if you look at the actual distance traveled, set the emotion volatility aside, and you compare that to the last pullback we saw in early 2017, it's roughly a 19%, 20% drop. We just saw that. It's a much sharper drop, but still, what we've lost, we have held. It's a, it's a logical pullback. It's a symmetrical pullback, so therefore, support has held. A very similar chart that we're not talking about here is NVIDIA. It, it's done the exact same thing. So I like Micron. I'm long NVIDIA looking to add Micron as we stabilize here. The other chart is Applied Materials, just a beautiful uptrend, nice orderly uptrend. We've held uptrend support right around the 50 to $52 region, region in AMAP. Um, I think this is a very healthy pullback as funds rotate back into these chip and other tech into yeah. 2018. All right. And uh, Mark, I guess the idea being is that we could see a round of price target cuts by Wall Street analysts. I would not that would not be unprecedented, certainly, but we look right now, they look to be at a discount. Are any of yeah. these names worth your client's money? Yeah, we actually like Western Digital. So with a forward P.E. of around six, the margin of safety there is pretty significant. And the reason the P.E. is so low is because PCs remain the biggest users of hard disk drives, and Western Digital is still getting the majority of its revenues from those devices, which are obviously dying. So to counter that, Western Digital is really focusing more on the ultra-slim laptop and mobile markets. Um, the acquisition of SanDisk has opened up new avenues of growth, and it should help to boost market traction in the newer storage technology, SSD, and also flash chips. So SSDs are actually faster and much more energy efficient than traditional hard drives, which is really important for mobile and laptops. And flash chips are obviously critical for portable electronic devices as well. And then you've got more and more users going to the cloud. And because of this, the cloud servers need to become more efficient. Western Digital is in the process of developing drives filled with helium that consume 23% less power while also increasing storage capacity by 40%. So I think that's enough positives to warrant a buy on that stock. Yeah, no more heat, no more fans. And some of these new SSD drives certainly get to, uh, that's how you get to the thinness of it. Interesting look there, AMAT, WDC. Mark and Todd, thank you both very much. And as always, folks, thank you for watching Trading Nation. I'm Brian Sullivan. We'll see you next time. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.